Welcome, loved ones. Welcome to the Christ Consciousness page. I'm Reverend Penelope Stewart. Thank you for being here with me today. I know I've been dropping some bombs on you guys. I know I have. I know I've been dropping some bombs. I, the last one I dropped was Jesus and the Sun Gods. That was that was something. But you know, I have to bring the truth. I have to bring because that talked about the astrological uh, age. And now the astrological age, and that's what I'm going to be talking about today. The astrological age is important because we're able to trace our consciousness and how we're evolving. You know, and if you want to do this on your own, explore your own zodiac because that's what it is. It's our your zodiac is really the spiritual essence of you. Learning more about your psychology. That's what that's all about. So the learn the more you learn about yourself on a psychological level, the closer you'll have this divinity, your divinity, you'll know your divinity and you'll have this relationship with God, you know, your intuition will heighten. So that's really what this journey is all about is knowing thyself. This is, this, this, that's what it's all about. So that when we look at the astrological age, we can really see how we're going to be shifting and transforming and how our perspectives is going to be, um, changing so today i want to come here and talk about the age of aquarius because that's the age that we're in right now and this is a very cool age you know a lot of things that the bible said you know a lot of revelations and things are being revealed in the aquarian age and the aquarian age is all about revelation it's about knowing and we began to do the shift out of the Piscean age because that's the age that we're leaving. That's just, it's still holding on so tight. That, that, that's why you're seeing a lot of chaos because the Piscean age is holding on so tight. It's, it's, it's based in, I believe. But that belief is cloaked in deception, in, in deception because just because you believe something doesn't make it true. Illusion, secrets, hierarchy, and power. The key astrological sign in Pisces was deception, cloaked in I believe. That's why belief was so important in the Abrahamic religions. And that's why you're seeing a lot of revelations and things going on right now in the Aquarian age. Because the Aquarian age is the age of information. It is I know. For me, the phrase to, um, to Aquarius is revelation. It's knowing. We're in the age of information now. You know, information is at our fingertip. You can practically Google anything and find out anything you want. It'll come up just like that. And this, that's the age that I love because you we're in the age of truth. We're in the age of knowing. Now, there's a lot of people in denial. The age of Aquarius, I know. Okay, so you're seeing a lot of things being, you know, revealed here. So you're going to be shocked in the corruption and things like that that the Aquarian age is going to bring because of the age. It's going to have a big, it's having a big impact on everyone on the planet. It has affected everyone psycho uh, psychologically. And if you look around, there is an epidemic of mental illness. Increase in mental illness as well. And we're gonna, they're going to be talking about that a lot during the Aquarian age. You know, I know you're saying, well, yeah, the Aquarian age is good. Reverend Penelope, yeah, that's a good age. You know, it sounds good, but we still got all this stuff going on. Yeah, you're going to see a lot of human suffering. Um... It, that's what tra tra a transformation is all about. If you get resistance to a transformation, some people resist what is good for them. Yeah, they're going to be that's going to be some suffering. And that's what you're going to see here in the Aquarian age. Uh but the age is also marked by two um uh, we no longer have to have a certain type of z identity or existence, but we start to accept ourselves for who we really are. And we realize that God lives within us. We don't have to believe in anything outside ourselves. We're improving our conscious contact with God. We realize that God is connected to our consciousness. And in order to have that uh, contact with God, we have to tear down all these blocks and beliefs to improve our conscious contact with God, all these programs and everything. So there will be a large shift and it will 
be worse before it gets better because some people do not want to throw away their beliefs. This is, you know, I, that's why I, I like the Know Thyself course. I recommend people take the course. And when I do readings, this comes up. I see a lot of blocks in people's thinking, you know, they only get caught up in a certain way of thinking. If they change their thinking, looked at things from another perspective, it solves everything. But we get so caught up, you know, it's like someone made us think a certain way and it, it can only be that way. And we get stuck with it being that way. And I see this all the time. So I'm removing blocks. So there is, I see what's going on here. There is some psychological shifting that, that's gonna have to occur. occur. And after this, you know, after the Aquarian age, you know, I know, I know a lot of you are saying, hey, well, where is this going? You know, after the Aquarian age and all this stuff is, and we're evolving, where are we going with this? We're going back to our natural state, to the age of Capricorn. This patriarch system is going to be slowly torn down because that's what happened. You seeing a lot of these men, uh, what is that? Me Too, that Me Too movement. You're seeing a lot of things. This patriarch system is slowly going to be torn, torn down. Uh, you know, a lot of this uh, duality is going to be torn away. And we're going right back to our natural state. You know, like the world used to be. is We're going to be balanced. We're going back to where it used to be. And that's where your divine feminine will come in and bring in that healing energy for humanity and the world would begin to heal. But again, this doesn't happen for another 2,000 years. I don't know if we're gonna be here to uh, see it, but it's gonna happen. It will happen, but we, there's a lot of stuff going on in the Aquarian age right now. And there's a lot of changes and shift in consciousness to get to the age of Capricorn, you know, it's going, but I hope you found this video. I hope you found it uh, insightful. I hope it brought in some enlightenment and some awareness. And I thank you so much for being here with me today. Light and love, love one, namaste.